Machine learning. Machine learning is a branch of artificial intelligence that allows computers to learn from data and make decisions without being explicitly told to do so. It pretty much allows machines to think and make decisions by themselves. And it's able to do some pretty complex things. It can diagnose diseases, drive cars, control the temperature in your house, and even predict the stock market. But how is something like this even possible? The answer to that is math. Pretty much. It's math. Sort of. My goal for this video is to explain the role that math plays in allowing machines to learn. And there's an analogy that I think can be pretty helpful to explain this. Imagine machine learning as a chef who uses recipes or algorithms to turn raw ingredients, which would be the data, into the final meals or predictions. But to be able to better understand how the chef works, we need to learn four key topics, which are linear algebra, calculus, probability, and statistics. First up is linear algebra. And one of the most important ways to represent data in linear algebra is to use tensors. More specifically, to use vectors and matrices. Vectors are pretty much like a list of numbers. And a good way to think of this is to imagine each of your favorite movies as a point in space with features like length and rating. When we stack these vectors together, we get a matrix. But now matrices are like tables, where each row is a movie and then each column would be a feature. We can then change and manipulate these matrices to make predictions and find patterns. In machine learning, we also use linear algebra to transform data, solve equations, and reduce dimensions. Linear algebra can be seen as the foundation that holds all of this together, allowing us to now handle and manipulate the data efficiently. And speaking of handling the data, let's talk about calculus. Two of the most important topics in calculus are derivatives and partial derivatives. And I think it's pretty helpful to explain these by picturing a slope on a mountain. Derivatives tell us the slope of the mountain at any point, guiding us to the quickest way down. In machine learning, we use gradients to minimize errors and find the best parameters for our models. And this process is called gradient descent, which is crucial for training models. Because typically you start out the model and it's completely randomized, and then you use calculus to slowly adjust the model to minimize the error between the predicted outcomes and the actual outcomes, which basically makes it more accurate. Gradient descent involves calculating the gradient. This gradient points in the direction of the steepest increase, so we move in the opposite direction to find the minimum error. Calculus is pretty much the power behind machine learning, specifically gradient descent, because it allows the model to go from very inaccurate predictions to more accurate predictions which allows the model to learn. But now let's move on to probability, which probability helps us deal with uncertainties and make predictions. A good example of this is forecasting weather. If we want to predict whether it will rain or not, we use probability to quantify the chances based on past data, which Bayes theorem is particularly useful because it allows us to update our predictions as new information becomes available. The model starts out with an initial guess and then it improves as more data comes in, which leads to making our predictions more reliable. And then last but not least, we have statistics. Statistics helps to make sense of the data. Two main subtopics are descriptive and inferential. Descriptive statistics allow us to summarize the main characteristics of the data, whereas inferential statistics allows us to draw conclusions from sample data. If you want to know if a new drug is effective, we use statistics to test this on sample data or a sample population. And then based off of the sample population, we're then able to infer that the same results will come from a larger population. Confidence intervals and p-values are all tools that help us determine the significance and reliability of our results. Statistics helps with modeling performance and making informed decisions based on the data. So now let's bring it all together. Machine learning is like a chef who uses recipes, which is the algorithms, to transform raw ingredients for the data into the final meals or predictions. Linear algebra can be seen as the tools that you have in the kitchen. It provides the utensils and machinery to chop, blend, and prepare the raw ingredients or data in various ways. Calculus can be seen as the cooking techniques or the temperature control. It helps optimize the cooking process by ensuring that the food cooks perfectly by adjusting the heat and timing. Probability can be seen as the chef's taste testing ability. It allows the chef to make educated guesses of how the final dish will turn out. And it does this by sampling and tasting during the cooking process. And finally, statistics can kind of be seen as the quality control. It ensures that each dish meets high standards of flavor and consistency, making sure that the final predictions are reliable and accurate. And there you have it. That is all the math that you have to know for machine learning. Pretty much. Sort of. Not really. This was just a very high level introduction to some of the math topics covered in machine learning. And while I think I was able to touch on some of the very important topics, there's a lot that I didn't cover in this video. And if you happen to be interested in learning more about machine learning and the math behind it, I'll leave some links to some pretty good resources in the description below. But that is going to be pretty much it for this video. So I hope you learned something and I'll see y'all in the next one.